So the SO6 qualifiers will end Grand National Week then, week 11, and it's the hurdle first as usual and it's a two and a quarter mile race well extended two and a quarter mile naught to 130 and the top one is black widow molly at surfer sleepy soldier leon van rensburg frantic eskimo david Robertson, mary jr graham clutterbuck banana split kevin meenahan candy apple gray martin Lidham, with the scythers darren thompson Srap me up Derek hinton loud dan's darren house quicksmith daniel french love embrace Stu gray pearl necklace obi wan de paler james follis Rykard, alex cherry and venison sm fisher so aerial sweep of Sonny Hereford and away they go now Pearl Nicholas right over on the far side usually likes to shoot off early into the lead and has got some competition today though because frantic Eskimo for David Robertson and there's a fauna up the first and River Scythers has gone and it's not really surprising when you consider how fast they go look at that on the top corner there they are going lickety split here and this frantic Eskimo did this the other week and went off like a rocket I don't think anything caught it and Pearl Necklace, who usually sets the pace, is struggling to go with Frantic Eskimo at this early stage of the race. So, uh, going to get quite strung out, I think, here. But it's Frantic Eskimo, and the rest of the jockeys need to be aware because it's not like this is a no hope when it goes off in the lead and then fades. This one goes off and stays in the lead. And Pearl Necklace normally does something pretty similar as well. So, we could get an interesting race here as Pearl Necklace has now gone on. And Frantic Eskimo, the jockeys just ease that back in the second. De Paler is up there in the third. Then Rykard is in fourth. Then after that one comes Quicksmith. We strap me up after that. They're already over the fourth. And Caddy Apple Gray at the back has been taken right off her feet and is really struggling to go with the rest of them. Uh, Venison as well is almost as slow as Barry Venison at the moment. And is also struggling to keep up with the rest of them. So it's Frantic Eskimo, De Paler, and Pearl Necklace who are three in a line. Disputing the lead. And Black Widow. Rykard, Strap Me Up and Quicksmith four in a line following them as they take the fifth and that'll be the last on the next circuit the crowd give us all a bit of a wave as we go by this is the final hurdle race of week 11 and as with the Moors Millions I think this is quite possibly the last chance to qualify I'm not sure whether there are any qualifiers next week in week 12 the finals of course are week 13 at Aintree we're back for the final week of the season at Aintree where we've been this week and Sighting into the season with the starters order six and the Moors Millions finals, as well as all the other good races that we we get that week. But it's Frantic Eskimo, De Pela and Pearl Necklace. Who are still setting a pretty strong pace as they jump number six. Uh, they've got over that one okay. I feel beginning to bunch up a little bit now, so they're all getting used to the pace. I don't know, but they're over that one. And it's Frantic Eskimo in the lead. Pearl Nicholas is second. De Paler is third. Strap me up is four. Then a little bit of, bit of a gap then to Rykard, Black Widow, and Mary Junior. With behind them, Sleepy Soldier and Quicksmith Loud Dan's around the outside. Love Embrace is now trying to get into it. First mention for Banana Split. Candy Apple Gray beginning to run on a bit. And Barry Venison is at the back. He's not, I shouldn't call him Barry Venison. He's probably got absolutely nothing to do with Barry Venison whatsoever. It just suddenly struck me we got Frank Rykard and Barry Venison in the same race. But anyway, it's Frantic Eskimo in the lead. And Pearl Necklace is in second. People who don't know anything about football from years ago will be going, What is that idiot on about? Anyway, they've jumped the ninth. And it's Frantic Eskimo in front from Pearl Nicholas second Srap me up his third then Mary Jr is fourth the Palers after that one gap then to Loud Downs but this frantic Eskimo is still really got a pedal to the metal as they say in the lead he's a good length clear of Pearl Nicholas who's hard driven in second Srap me up is now moving into third then comes Mary Jr in fourth there's a big gap there to the rest of them and there's only three and a half furlongs to go and look at frantic Eskimo frantic Eskimo looks like he's on some sort of super sort of I don't know what he's on, but he's absolutely motoring like a five furlong sprinter at this stage. He's miles in front. And as they come to the second last, Frantic Eskimo, he gains about three lengths with every jump. And he's six, seven lengths clear of Pearl Necklace in second. Can Frantic Eskimo keep this up to the line? You'd probably seriously doubt it, but he doesn't look like stopping at the minute. As they swing towards home, there's a furlong and a half to go. And Frantic Eskimo, he's been well named, but he's beginning to tire now. He's starting to tread water. The Eskimo's now stuck in the sludge. And it's Pearl Necklace going around the outside. Here comes Love Embrace, they take the final flight and Pearl Necklace has timed it to perfection this time it would seem Love Embrace is trying to close but Pearl Necklace is up towards line and Pearl Necklace beats Love Embrace on loud downs and then strap me up and what an interesting race that was and 
this may a frantic Eskimo, the way it jumps, it gains about three lengths in the air every time it jumps a hurdle, but it just ran out of steam today, maybe that extra two furlongs or what did it, maybe it needs to bang on two miles, but it's Pearl Necklace that's taken it for Obi-Wan, Sirius Chill, and Love Embrace is second, so Pearl Necklace wins it then for Obi-Wan, Love Embrace second for Stu Gray, Loud Dance for Darren House third, Srap Me Up for Derek Hinton fourth, and Frantic Eskimo stuck on, for, well, stuck on, faded away, but still managed to be fifth for David Robertson.